talk about software quality. That's topic 10 from Software Engineering Body of Knowledge. Software quality can refer to one of three things. The first one is what are the things that we want to see in the software product? What will, be, uh, will we be satisfied with? The second one is the extent to which a, a concrete software product uh, fits those characteristics, those uh, things that we want to see there. And the third uh, possible use for software quality is the processes that are used to ensure the fit. And all of them can be referred to as uh, you know, software quality or software quality management assurance and whatnot. The fundamental of software quality starts with culture and ethics. So we kind of assume that the developers have this shared commitment toward building the best system ever. But, uh, I mean, in, on the concrete level, how accurate are uh, the reports? How, how precise uh, is the fit uh, between what, what, it, what is written and what is, uh, what is actually going on? Uh, the value and costs of quality, they uh, boil down to uh, prevention of uh, uh, problems, appraisal of, uh, so uh, analysis of uh, existing things, and, you know, internal failures and external failures. Uh, the models and quality characteristics, they depend heavily on the taxonomy of the quality model that uh, uh, is used within a particular uh, company. But th there are some very long ISO standards that uh, uh, propose uh, uh, off-the-shelf solutions to this. Software quality improvement, that's, uh, uh, you know, it, it refers to the life cycle of uh, software, refers to this uh, eternal loop of uh, detecting a bug, removing a bug, uh, trying to prevent uh, uh, bugs. And it's about software quality, uh, uh, quality improvement processes. And safety, of course, you know, the, we, we speak of software qu critical, safety critical systems, but safety critical systems can be directly uh, critical or indirectly. So directly critical is something like, uh, uh, I don't know, a, a radiation uh, uh, control in, uh, in a scanner or uh, an autopilot in a, uh, in a f uh, flight uh, management system. But an indirect uh, thing is, for example, the, the testing harness of uh, the same systems. It is critical, but it is not. Uh, it does not have direct impact, but it does uh, impact the, the safety of the entire system. Uh, then we have software quality management processes, and they are about uh, quality assurance, which is kind of how to how to define how to assess the adequacy of the, the processes that uh, we have in our software engineering uh, in a sense that uh, they should eventually deliver high quality software. Uh, verification and validation, so it, traditionally verification is seen uh, as, uh, um, as assuring that, that we build a, a software products correctly and validation is that we build the right uh, products. So the verification is uh, more like we we had a specification. Did we build the the system that conforms to the specification? And validation is more like we we had some expectations of a system. Do do we do we have them now? Do we uh, does the system do what we actually wanted? Uh, and reviews and audits and th these are about, about you know inspections and static examinations and uh, and whatnot. And reviews can be very different. That can be management reviews of uh, you know of your of your processes or of your uh, uh, products. Uh, they can be uh, quality assurance things. That they can be technical reviews and and, and many other things. And uh, the practical considerations of software quality, they are uh, quality requirements. So uh, like influence factors, uh, dependability, different levels of uh, integrity within the system. Uh, defect characterization is very important because what, what's, what's a problem, what, what's a bug, right? And then they have these things like computational error where, uh, where a computer computes something that does not correspond to the theoretically computed value uh, and can be a problem of computation or of, uh, I don't know, some weird things like bit flipping or uh, uh, could be really a bug in the system, but it's it's an error in computation anyway. 
and then there is like a real error, for example, a user error, a misclick uh, somewhere. Then there could be a defect, uh, and that's something that happens when you have an error. And then you have uh, faults, and they are uh, basically defects in the source code. So def defects that are hard coded in the system, and they are not misclicks, but they are really uh, in the source code. And then there are failures, and failure is kind of a faults that occurs and leads to to uh, to uh, errors in uh, made in, in certain conditions. Right, software quality management techniques uh, they can be static or dynamic, uh, and they 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 can also go kind of deeper into testing. So static is when you analyze documentation, for instance, and dynamic uh, when you execute code and you see what what's going on there. But testing can uh, be not only about executing code, but also assuring the quality of uh, the other tools that you use and the testing uh, framework uh, at all and uh, in in general and you know conformance tests and stuff like this and uh, measurement that's uh, you know about either descriptive uh, stats um, something like I don't know scatter plots. Uh, it could be statistical uh, tests, something like binomial test or chi squared. Uh, it could be trend analysis, like con control uh, charts, and it could be prediction uh, models, something like uh, reliability models. And of course, there are many tools that uh, assess and ensure quality of your uh, stuff. That's it for software quality.